if you're ridiculously optimistic and a little bit crazy, musky fishing might just be the sport for you. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I'm coming to you from beautiful Northwest Ontario, sunset country they call it. We're on Eagle Lake, we're fishing out of Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge, and we've got a beautiful morning here, which I'd like to see some more clouds, maybe a touch of wind, but uh, it's better than 50 mile an hour winds and raining, so I guess we'll take it. We've had really good luck uh, yesterday throwing bucktails on rocks, so we're gonna continue that program this morning, and then from there we'll probably go check out some weed spots and just kind of keep moving around to see what the fish are doing. We've got water temps anywhere from 66 to 70 degrees, depending on where we're at, and it is late August right now, so, um, the fish should be popping. They were going pretty good yesterday. I think between my boat and uh, my friend Nate boat, Nate's boat, we had about 30 follows, boated f four or five fish, give or take. So the fish are definitely moving. We're fishing into a new moon. So we've got things happening for us, folks. So let's see if we can get a musk in the boat for you. All right, folks, I'm starting out the morning throwing an Esox Assault 109. Killer corn, my favorite color here on Eagle Lake, on a Assault Stick 2020. Gosh, what is this one? It's too early. Shockinaw with a 500 Tranks. Jim's kind of throwing the mini version of this. He's got a double eight killer corn Esox Assault on a nine foot surgical strike. And he's throwing a 401 Tranks. That's the gear, that's the baits, that's what we're doing this morning. Pulling right off the tip there. Fish. She feel pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> How's your drag holding up? Good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Looks like a decent fish. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Keep her tight. All right, one more time around here. One more time around. Okay, up and around one more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Almost got myself in trouble there, but we got her. All right, let's get him unpinned here. Okay. All right, buddy, there you go. There you go. Yeah, well, he bent that into an L, so I'll have to f fix that. We'll all right, folks, there's Jim's fish, a beautiful 44 inch Eagle Lake muskie. All right, that's the way to start the morning, Jim. Uh, ooh, the lighting that way is terrible. There we go, that's better. All right, well, we're about five minutes into the morning here. Um, I didn't do an introduction, so we're gonna have to take care of that real quick here too. <laughs> But uh, a beautiful way to start the morning, a 44-inch 
fish for Jim. And uh, man, let's keep casting because these things are biting. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. He came in the first time, and I guess I he he was low enough. I didn't really say anything. Oh, he's he's down there again. He's down there again. All right, right here, Jim. Right here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, right here, right here. <laughs> All right. That was cool. I've never gotten that to work, really. <laughs> That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. That was pretty neat. When he came in initially, he was kind of not super interested in it, it didn't seem. And then to get him to go like that, that yeah, was pretty neat. All right, well that was cool. Uh, that uh, that fish came in on the top water low. Usually they wake and you can see them, but it just came in. I didn't think I had a chance at it, so I didn't really say anything. I just kept figure eighting and uh, was able to get it to hit. That was really neat. So she's kind of green. Woo! Come on, baby. I think she's a low 40s. Come on here. Oh, I hate grabbing them. All right. All right, baby. Oh, gosh, that is a solid fish. These Eagle Lake fish are just built like absolute tanks. All right. All right, baby. She is. Oh, just short of 45 at 44 and a half. And I'm just going to swing her around the side, get her own gym here, get her back in the water. Whew! That was pretty neat. What a beautiful fish, man. They're just wide as a barn door out here. All right, sweetie, there she'd give a little tail kick. We'll keep an eye on her and make sure she got herself upright. But that was really cool. Don't give up on those figure eights, guys. I was I was tempted to because she, she took off a couple times and I just kept popping the bait around. And every time she came up, she just kept getting more ramped up, more ramped up, and finally took a, took a stab at it and we got lucky. So very cool. Yeah, uh, a two fish morning, 44 for Jim, 44 and a half. So... There she's waving goodbye to us out there, the little fin kick. What a cool morning. Let's, you know, let's, let's keep getting them. I, I can't talk right now. Let's just fish. <laughs>
All right, guys, I got that one on this little Bubba. I love this. Um, it's a little bit different as far as a walk the dog bay goes. It doesn't glide back and forth real wide. It's just kind of a tight pop, pop, pop back and forth. But uh, it got that fish's attention. It's a neat one, and I was I was throwing it on an Assault Stick 2020 uh, surgical strike, the nine foot, kind of my favorite go-to for little top waters and little bucktails with a 400 tranks. So that was pretty neat. I'm gonna keep throwing this for a little bit, I think. I got one coming. Yeah, that was a nice one. Yeah, that was a freaking dandy. Shoot. Oh, man. Couldn't get as lucky as I did this morning with it, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, the uh, small weed bed program almost worked out for us. I had a really nice fish come in on that uh, Bubba Big Mama Walk the Dog Bait. I uh, just couldn't get it to go. Couldn't get as lucky as I did this morning with that other one. And uh, we saw two others. That was it, and got pestered by a bunch of little pike. So, um, that's all that was going but if it holds like it has the last two nights we should get some action from some bigger fish on the rock reefs with bucktails so that's what we're going to attempt in the next 7 30 we got about an hour and 20 minutes so that's the time we got let's see if we can do it all right let's pull a big girl off this piece of structure here Ooh, how big was that? I didn't even saw I, I did a double, I did a round place. <laughs> I just picked it up and he grabbed it when it came out of the water. Did he actually get it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that brings us to the end of the day and uh, didn't quite turn out as well as the last two nights have. We were getting nice fish to hit on rocks with bucktails and we saw a couple tonight uh jim had one surprise him a little bit um we fished a nice big reef that we see big fish on a lot and we didn't see a darn thing there we ended where we started the morning with jim's fish and zippo so um i don't know we'll have to go back and see what the other folks in camp did uh see if we just picked the wrong spots or maybe the fish just weren't moving the same way they have been the past couple nights but Two nice fish in the boat, <coughs> two quality fish. I got a 44 and a half, Jim's 44. And uh, it's only the second full day. It's the third day we're up here. Friday was a half day, Saturday, and now it's Sunday. So we've still got a lot of fishing ahead of us. And we're still gonna be trying to figure these silly things out. And I hope you decide to watch us do it. So with that, I appreciate every single one of you watching this. And I'll see you on the next video.